Okay. So, gentlemen, congratulations. You have cleared uh, NDA 2 2024 and you must be full of spirit this time. And Centurion Digital, that is the platform that makes students ready who are in the remote location and due to some problems, they are unable to join in uh, offline mode. So, uh, many, 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 many congratulations to you since you have cleared your written exam. First, I would like to know your brief intro as well as your experience. How is your experience after qualifying written exam? Yes, sir. So my name is Sagar Jhavar and I'm from Ahmedabad. I attended Centurion's online written exam course because I'm currently in grade 12 and I also have to attend my school. So I could not come there for the offline center, but the online coaching was equally good and I always use the online classes to clear my doubts or to learn something new about the topics. And about the written exam, Centurion did provide the base on starting how to prepare for the journey and it obviously did motivate me a lot about how the exam works and what are the important topics that I need to study. And about the books which I used, I also used Centurion's ebooks which were available on the website. Okay, okay. So you you have been a regular student uh, in our app. So uh, let us talk about the subject wise approach. How has been your experience in mathematics and uh, what were your areas of improvement in which you worked and you found a change in yourself? So, sir, I belong from a PCM background. So maths was never a really big challenge for me. I knew I could clear the sectional cutoff for maths. But using Centurion's the platform, it helped me boost my scores through mock tests. I almost gave all the mock tests available on the platform, which really helped me understand at what level I stand and how much do I have to practice. And as I'm in 12th currently, there are many topics which are yet to be covered in my school. So I figured out what are the important topics from mock tests and prepared them through the Centurion Defense Academy videos on YouTube and just went through them to get a gist of the exam. Okay, Sagar, if, if you can uh, discuss topic wise, so this is going to be very helpful because uh, this uh, is the interaction which will definitely boost confidence of newcomers. So uh, please uh, include the number of topics on which you specifically work and you found those questions in your any examination. So, so talking about maths, I studied maths at a really good level, almost at the J level so that I could easily solve all the sums. Topic wise, if we go in maths grade 12, I worked really hard on matrices, determinants and vector algebra, which did help me because there were many questions from vector algebra and matrices determinants in the examination. I also revised class 11 thoroughly just before before the exam, like a few months before exam. And that really helped me as well. In 11th, I would suggest binomial would be a really important topic. And permutations and combinations was also one of the important topics which I covered. Okay, okay. Sagar, what is GS ki preparation for the strategy? Because GS, because you are preparing for the GS, so PCM was good for you. Your experience was good for you. But GS uh, would have been a challenge for you. So, how you prepared yourself for GS? So, honestly speaking, till 10th, I did not like SS at all. But once I started on with the journey with Centurion and the factor which motivated me to join the Indian Army, it was like I kept on studying SS for three months straight. In the last three months, I just made up my mind that now it's either this way or that way. I need to finish SS as soon as possible because this is something which could boost my score a lot. And one thing which I thought to myself was there would be many J aspirants like me who would also be giving the examination. So to stand out and to score a good rank, I need to work on my SS and GS also because that would be something which they wouldn't be working on. 
so right sagar yeah yeah please go on so i gave enough time i gave almost 4 to 5 hours a day for gs and among that geography was my favorite one because the more i learned the more i realized that yeah this is something going on in my everyday life and i just never realized it mm. really really that uh, when you relate something to your practical life you get more interest in learning that is really a good approach of learning uh, well sagar since you have studied digitally and uh, you haven't uh, been to centurion in uh, offline mode but there has been interaction with the recommended candidates so did you attend uh, the interaction of recommended candidates uh, which is published on our uh, youtube channel i did see the youtube videos in which uh, the new series which is seven day and seven motivational stories hmm. which really motivated me to join the offline course for ssb which i'm looking forward to come there yes sagar you should come here in offline mode because you are going to get uh, proper exposure personalized guidance and individual feedback and uh, holistic uh, improvement you will be able to get here because here you have uh, exposure to gto ground as well as ppndt as well as interview techniques and uh, psychology session which is taken by our founder director sir we will have a very good exposure further i would like to know uh, that uh, while preparing for written examination uh, since uh, there are students who are from uh, different uh, parts of uh, our country they are unable to commute to uh, this place so they opt the uh, centurion digital platform and this time we have got so many admissions in centurion digital platform so one thing i would like to ask uh, that uh, really it is uh, since if we compare it with offline there are so many things that are special in uh, online and uh, what is what are the points which an online student uh, should keep in mind uh, to achieve success so i would say that in offline coaching you are right under the supervision of teacher so that's the biggest plus point of offline coaching while in online you just need to be motivated by yourself you're on a device which has an access to a lot of other things as well so it's your job to stay committed to your online class and finish the four to five hour class in one go or with the amount of break that the teacher provides so that one thing if you inculcate in your daily schedule that could be really good because it will help you stay disciplined and motivated towards the subject which you are learning and make maximum use of the online classes because the teachers are really good and it's the teacher they are the same teachers who teach every students it's just how the student makes use of those teachers and clears his exam another thing which i would like to say about staying home and studying is you same save the commuting time of offline centers and you are at your own comfort you can sit in your room which is like your comfort place or you have your own study table which you know you're like alone and you can focus more okay uh, so uh, share the experience of your parents uh, what they are saying now since you have cleared written through digital platform they were really proud about this they said that it's good you deserved it because you worked really hard for it and through this they just told me that look it's just a part of life that you work hard and you will get whatever you want so they they were really happy about this and even they are looking forward for me to join the defense forces and serve for the country and clear the SS, ssb and everything okay okay please uh, uh, also share about your experience of school because uh, i think uh, uh, now uh, you will be having your board as well yes sir yeah yeah so now since you have board as well as your ssb also so you have to do um, time management very efficiently so that you can manage both the things and uh, convey to uh, have you conveyed it to your school that you have cleared nd written exam yes sir okay okay how is their uh, i mean uh, experience they were all really happy and they said that it's a good thing now just focus on board so that you get a good score over there as well 
and right. they were really happy to about, uh, hear about this they said that not many few students go for this stream so fine yeah the teachers were really happy as well so sagar uh, give them uh, this intimation also that uh, for ssb you need offline guidance and for this uh, you need to be here in lucknow our head office for a complete exposure of ssb interview yes i already so, told them about this and they said that yeah don't worry you're a smart student you'll i we know that you'll cover up the backlogs and you'll manage boards as well as ssb wow what a great trust level you have developed in your school very good so sagar best wishes to you uh, once more and convey my best regards to your parents as well i believe you are going to do a lot of hard work in your phase 2 as well and you will surely achieve success are you excited for phase 2 uh, yes sir a lot i've been thinking about coming to lucknow how it's going to be i've been searching online about how ppdt is what association tests and i'm just looking forward to get a whole new experience because this is the first time i'm ever going for something like this and i'm going to give my best not not worry about the results but just experience something new and learn something new from it i'm looking forward for that sure sure it will be our pleasure you will be able to meet all uh, teachers also uh, in offline mode since we have seen them virtually only now you will be interacting with them right in offline mode so most welcome to uh, our center and best wishes to you thank you thank you sagar best wishes thank you